Chip Liptrap, and we are here in our Principles of Finance class. We're working through the chapter called Long-Term Financial Planning and Growth. In this particular problem set, we are looking at the internal growth rate and how to calculate that when given the return on assets and a payout ratio of a certain percentage. So also the payout ratio is also known as a plowback or retention ratio. So why don't we get started and take a look at the problem and give some definitions to begin with. The internal growth rate is the maximum growth rate a firm can achieve without external financing of any kind. So what that means is that that is the it's the operational one. Can it can it continue on without any injection of capital or money from its investors or, or owners or whatever it is? That's the internal growth rate is the number that says without external financing, this is how much we can grow. Now there's something called the B, which is you can take a look at this, it's a little it's a town size B. It's the plowback retention rate. What this is, is the addition to retained earnings divided by the net income of the company. So it's the addition to retained earnings, which is the addition to the money and savings divided by its net income. It's kind of a percentage. So what we do is we subtract that by one because we don't pay everything out to the, to the shareholders. We just don't pay everything out of our bank accounts to the shareholders. So it's subtracted by one. The equation we're going to use is this, the internal growth rate, IGR, internal growth rate, is equal to the ROA, return on assets. Please note, this is not return on equity, this is return on assets, times B, divided by 1 minus ROA times B. So, the one, first thing we need to do is decide what B is. So, B is 1 minus, in this case, 0.25 or 25%. So it comes out to be 0.75. So you take your internal growth rate equation, and we take our ROA, which is 0.09, and we multiply it by 0.75. Then remember, we, we do those first, and then that goes over a divided sign, and then we do the 1 minus the 0.09 times 0.75. So let's get the calculator and show you how this works. So we take 0 0.09, and we multiply it times 0.75. I'm going to move my calculator over a little bit closer. Okay. So what we're getting is we're getting a 0 .07, 0 0.0675, which then would continue on into the equation of 0 0.0675 over 1 minus 0 0.0675. So we're going to do this. We are going to do, I'll let you get the bottom number, so I'm going to take 1 minus 0.0675. 0.0675. That equals 0.9325. The equation looks like 0.0675 divided by 0.9235 in this particular equation. So what we're going to do, 0.0675. I'm just going to stick it 0.0675. We're going to divide that by 0.9235. Very simple. And it's, it looks as it comes out to be 0 0.073091. So that's 7.31%. So that would be 7.31% would be the answer. So you see what I did there? I just moved my decimal point over and rounded up because I'm 9. So it's, the answer would be 7.31% for the question of what is the internal growth rate? You take your problem, just plug and play, 